good afternoon uh, hello to all the panelists and my teachers uh, my name is himika and i'll be presenting a case of congenital entropion i would like to acknowledge my past institutes from where i learned a lot and the hospital where this case was done okay so we had this 4 year old child who presented with right eye pain redness watering and there was upper lid which was shortened he had a lag of thalamus in the right eye which was approximately 3 mm and an in increased vertical palpebral fissure height the lid margin was in turn so when we analyze any eyelid case it's a good idea to look at the anterior and posterior lamella anterior lamella being the skin and the orbicularis so on cursory look this looked like a con uh, congenital cicatricial entropion where the posterior lamellar shortening which is the conjunctival uh, side was much more than the anterior lamellar shortening because of which the eyelid turned inwards and uh, as a result of it there was eyelashes which were rubbing against the superior cornea this caused a lot of ocular surface compromise so for this we had a formula we have presented a similar we had done certain cases before where we try to lengthen there is both sides lengthening is needed the anterior as well as posterior lamella conventionally in plastic surgery we are not supposed to put two grafts together so we strategically place our grafts and we try to lengthen the anterior lamella with a skin graft and the posterior lamella with a mucous membrane graft and place it like don't place graft over graft but strategically located so more towards the eyebrow we wanted to increase the length by putting a free skin graft full thickness and more towards the lid margin it was going to be a mucous membrane graft the oral mucosa because it is uh, reasonably robust it gives additional lubrication and it's pretty stable but when we had a complete picture we saw the child there was a lot of fat atrophy regression of the mandible you see the fingers a 4 year old child is generally supposed to be chubby doesn't look like this so he was actually 4 going 40 he was a case of progeria that is a premature aging condition so the child had multiple issues a bit of issues with ga fitness and a bit of renal compromise but overall his skin was senile fragile so that was not the skin which is an ideal candidate for a skin graft so we have this very famous dialogue mere paas ma hai so what do we do when we don't have any other options we looked at the maternal donor okay so because oral mucosa harvesting in such a small child and the fragile senile skin was a matter of concern so we went for a maternal mucus and a maternal full thickness skin graft uh, harvest to deal with this condition so as you can see this is a full thickness maternal muc uh, maternal skin graft which is placed just below the eyebrow to lengthen the anterior lamella and this was taken from the inner aspect of the forearm of the mother simultaneously we did a corneal scraping and bandage contact lens placement and we took a maternal full thickness uh, we took a maternal mucous membrane graft and placed it in the posterior lamella just inside the upper lid margin at the end of one year roughly this is uh, recent this is the post op which was around 3 uh, weeks post op you can see that the graft is taking up well and here also in the corneal opacity also decreased and the at the end of one year this was approximately the look so the uh, corneal opacity had resolved significantly the lag of thalamus and the lash rubbing and the shortening of the upper lid was dealt with generally when we look at any eyelid case co however complex it might sound in the beginning we should know the anatomy we should try to cover the cornea and take good care of it avoid lag of thalamus margin orientation in any sort of graft or flap is important and it should be cosmetically pleasing additionally these rare cases like the case of progeria we faced geriatric population in a pediatric geriatric problems in a pediatric child so it was unique in its own way and we have to acknowledge the support of the pediatric anesthetists and the pediatric team that helped us uh, deal with this child thank you very much so you've taken the graft from the mother yes sir 
And for how long was it followed up? I mean, was it a perfect takeover? Yes, yes. The graph has taken over yeah, the long time. Yeah, we are still in our follow-up. So this case was done in 2016. So any sort of further matching was required before you decided to take a graph from the mother? So they've been, uh, we've published similar reports in the past. One was for, uh, uh, one is with Dr. Honavar Sir's team uh, for ichthyosis, maternal mucous membrane graft was taken. Another published report where I was also mucous graft. So based on that, we... There is a small chance that it could get rejected. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Totally.